I wanted to do this video basically on similarities between wolves and dogs and wolf dogs and how it's so weird how people will say that specifically a wolf dog looks so different from a dog that you know dogs don't have traits in common with wolves or wolf's dogs and they're so quick to call a dog a wolf dog and the fact that people have a hard time telling this difference is interesting to me because it's like you know people will talk about that but they won't understand that if that's the case then many situations where you think you saw a wolf you may have seen a dog, you may have seen a wolf dog, you may have seen a feral dog. You know, you can't really say that you saw a wolf, right? If dogs and wolves look very similar and they can have similar traits to each other, then how are you saying that a wolf is definable by looks, by phenotype, you know? reason I'm saying this is because everyone knows I've talked a lot about the whole situation with the wolf, well, the actual dog named Romeo, Romeo, um, who people have said behaved like a dog, specifically, like a stray dog, basically would not let strangers around them within 100 feet, which is not normal for a wolf, by the way. Wolves, when they see dog, I mean humans, they usually run away and they don't let them get close not a hundred feet away they they flee usually and when they're around humans that they're familiar with well that never happens and they see dogs usually as um their food source now there's something really interesting about the behavior of wolves and wolf dogs two things one they're very shy around humans apparently um one person i was reading their uh, blog, and I'm going to link it below, but they were saying how wolf dogs, when they are raised around humans and somebody turns them loose to be wild, usually they will starve to death if they are not taught the skills to hunt, one, and they are not um, going to be around humans because they're too shy to be around humans. So their nature for wolf dogs is generally to be shy around humans. They don't usually go around humans like that. One. Two. Also, they tend to view the other pets, the other pet dogs, as food, a food source. Even wolf dogs do this. So, specifically, they were saying that wolf dogs behave very similar to wolves. So, it's very interesting to me. And I look at these wolf dogs. And honestly, these wolf dogs, to me, look more like wolves than Romeo does. Reason why I say that is because of this. A wolf dog to me, well, a wolf, wolves in general, when you look at a wolf's face, their, wolf, the, their face looks like a wolf face. What I mean by that is it's not specifically just a long snout. Like some people were saying it's a long snout. No, it's not just a long snout. It's a keen, long snout. And the length from the nose to the forehead is very streamlined, one, and very lengthy, basically. The nose is very long from the forehead, basically. You can see with Romeo, he didn't have that feature. And I'm showing photos of him as well. And you can tell that there's a difference between the wolf dogs and and him. These are not full wolves, by the way. These are wolf dogs. The thing is, from what I learned from reading the other um, blog, a lot of people call their dogs wolf dogs. So people are used to dog traits being wolf traits, basically. So then they will see someone, some dog who is more wolf-like than, say, the, another dog that is just dog, but they think it's wolf dog. Um, as supposedly a wolf, maybe. And I think that's what's going on, what was going on with Romeo. Was specifically, people tend to think for some reason that because he was big, that that was another reason why he was a wolf. But the truth is, most wolves are actually between 60 and 100 pounds. And many dogs are bigger than wolves. I always find that very odd that people say, like, act like wolves are bigger than dogs. That's not true. You're thinking of maybe 
a simple Jack Russell Terrier like my own dog, that I do not make the stupid assumption that all dogs look like my dog. I know there are Mastiffs out there. I know there are Great Danes out there. I know there are St. Bernards out there that are much bigger than wolves. So coming up with the size situation is not correct. Romeo could have been 250 pounds, which he wasn't. Um, he still wouldn't, that wouldn't make him a wolf, okay? There are plenty of dogs that size. So, in total, what I'm trying to say here is that specifically people trying to say that Romeo was a wolf, that's not true. The behavior of Romeo was specifically that of a dog who was a stray dog. The fact that he could feed himself might imply that someone may have bred him and taught him to um, hunt. Some dogs do hunt, by the way. I don't know why people don't realize it, but they do. Um, I think it bothers them, actually, that dogs hunt because it kind of scares them. But honestly, it's not because dogs see humans very differently than their prey animals. Very differently than wolves do. Wolves see us in a prey fashion. So, yeah. And my point in saying all this is, obviously, Romeo wasn't a wolf. You're looking at these wolf dogs and all the dogs i showed were wolf dogs not one was a wolf and of these wolf dogs all the wolf dogs look more wolf-like than romeo so that lets you know that romeo probably didn't even have a high content for a wolf probably not even medium content honestly and i'm going to link like i said the description and the experience explanation of what of how wolf dogs usually behave and how it's very different from a regular dog like Romeo. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and have a great day guys. Bye.